Hi guys! Um, this is um, a video that should help people who are trying to get The Sims 1 to work on Windows 10. I realized after I filmed the last video, and this is a long time coming, I should have done this way sooner, but after I filmed the last video, I realized, you know, like, during editing it, like, that none of the other windows showed up, like, the way you see on the screen right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what's what, and I'm gonna try and do it in a slower way, but let me be clear because I've had a lot of people asking me this question and I wanted to clear up as much as possible. Also, I hope that you can hear me fairly well over the music. I'm gonna turn that music down a lot more. Um, there, I think that's better. Um, <clears throat> hopefully that's a different for you, difference for you guys. Um, anyways, so this hack, I'm gonna take you to two different ones, but this first, it's not even a hack, this first way of getting Sims 1 to work on Windows 10 is only if you have the DVD set of the complete collection. It's red in like America, and I think it's yellow in the UK or something like that. They, but it's the Sims 1 complete collection. It's only if you have the full set on DVD, like, or on disc already installed on your computer, or if you have a downloaded version. Um, if you have, like, the downloaded version that is in the link on my previous, it's, like, in the comments on my previous Sims 1 video, that works as well. But this, um, yeah, I guess this hack or this technique is only if you already have the Sims 1 installed. And then this, and then after I explain this way, I will tell you if you don't have the disc and if you don't have it downloaded and my eye has like I swear I've just been really like sick not with ah not sick sick of course and yes don't touch your face I'm at home and my hands are clean um but uh I've I had a huge migraine yesterday and um like I was dead like oh my gosh like dizzy I had to just sit in the floor and like do nothing because like moving was just too much. It felt like I was in a fishbowl just like floating around and like the pain was insane and now my eyelashes are falling out because I have extra eyelashes. Don't worry about it. I explained it all in another video. It doesn't matter. We're not talking about my eyelashes. We are talking about The Sims 1. <laughs> But yes, um, this whole morning when I was filming videos, I had no voice. It's still not 100%, but uh, we're going to get past that. And I think the song's stamped. Someone's going to play that. Okay. That, that might happen a few times. I'm just saying. Anyways, okay. So, if you will look at the screen behind my face, I already have the Maxis file in here because I already have the disc version of The Sims 1 Complete Collection. I have the disc version and it's installed on my computer. Um, you can use a downloaded version from a link that I will be putting down below and it's also on my old video, but it's easier if I just put them all down below for you guys to be able to get them. Uh, but you're already going to want to have the thing installed. No, I also have been getting these uh, these questions, but in my case, it hasn't worked. You may be able to find another person on YouTube or another person on Google that has made it work, but no, I have not found a way to make my EXE for the downloads that, um, that I put up on the last video or the one that I'll put up on this video that works with just one game. Like, I've seen someone who said, like, oh, all they had was the original Sims, like, Double Deluxe or something like that, and they got it to work. But I had to have every single, like, expansion pack, because the latest expansion pack upgrades your game, basically, to, like, a newer version of the game, and that somehow still works. So that's why you want to get The Sims 1 Complete Collection. Sorry, let me, let me correct how I'm sitting, because I, I hate it. And I hate everything about it. <laughs> Mostly because my foot was falling asleep. 
and I want to be more comfortable. Comfortable. I want to be more comfortable. Um, so, if you already have all of the games, and I mean like Sims 1 and every single expansion pack, or you have the, like, you can do the Sims 1 and have every single one of the expansion packs installed, but you can't miss any. Or you can just get the complete collection. Um, but once you have that installed, you're going to go here to Maxis, and you're going to click on Maxis. Alright, and then that will leave you with The Sims. You click on The Sims, and you'll see it has all these in here. It has all the expansion packs, it has like the deluxe, and all the extra downloads, everything like that. And I'll tell you a little tip about these two, it's kind of cool. Um, why you don't go down further? Alright, there you go. Alright, you're going to want to scroll all the way down, and whenever you scroll all the way down, you're going to see only The Sims. You won't see this second file here. You're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to click on that, and you're going to, like, right click, and you're going to click, uh, rename. Now, you can't see on my screen where it shows, you, but whenever you right click on that, that Sims file, you're going to click rename, and you can rename it Sims Old, like mine is here. You can do Sims dot old. You can do Sims hate you, whatever you want to say. <laughs> like, I wouldn't know why you would say that, but you can, you can name it whatever you want to name it, just as long as you know that that is your old application, your old EXE, and you just leave it there. You don't have to move it, but you leave it there, and you do that just in case you ever need a backup or anything like that. But... Then you're going to go to the link that I leave underneath this video. And let me see if I can't get that up for you. All right. Now, I'm going to leave the link for this down below. But what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this here and you're going to download it. You're going to click download and you're going to download that Sims EXE. Okay? And whenever you download that, you're going to need a WinZip or a, I use Z, a 7-Zip or WinZip are both of the ones I use, but you can also use like WinRAR or something, but you're going to need like a file, a zip file, like unzipper. I don't know what you would call it, but you're going to need like a zip uh, app or something, but you're going to need like WinZip or or 7-Zip, something like that. Those are free. Or at least m m mine are. Mine are free. I mean, I think 7-Zip is free anyway. Uh, WinZip, maybe not anymore, but the, the version I had is. Um, give me, like, five seconds. Okay, but you're going to need that, and you're going to unzip it. When you unzip it, you should see another Sims EXE, just like this one. Um, and you're going to take that, and you're going to extract it and put it into this file. If for some reason, even if you use like uh, administrator privileges and it doesn't let you, then extract it onto your desktop or extract it into another folder and then copy it and paste it into this folder. And then it's going to just be the name Sims. It'll. This is the one that is going to replace the old one. So this is what you should have in there now. And then I'm going to bring up... You're going to right click on it. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to, it's going to bring up this other screen when you right click on that. And it's going to say general, compatibility, security, details, previous versions. And you want to make sure that you're right on the icon. If you don't get this screen, then you, maybe you're not clicking on the icon well enough or something. But definitely uh, do that. Go over to compatibility. And then I have mine ticked as run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista Service Pack 2. Not Windows 7, because uh, The Sims 1 didn't work on Windows 7. You had, to, you had to type in something, and I have a video on that. If you have Windows 7, I will leave you a link over there, like at the very top, and I'll actually put the video in the back at the end of this video as well. But for Windows 10 users, you might be able to get it to work in Windows whatever else that there is, like in another one, Windows XP, whatever. Mine works and has no issues, and I have it Windows Vista Service Pack 2, and you'll have that there. And then I have right down here, I have it ticked as run this program as an administrator. 
you'll you'll just click those and hit apply and then okay and then your game is good to go if you if you play it from here you should be able to have it be full screen and play with no issues whatsoever i have also added a version on my desktop i have like cop like done a shortcut for it and created a shortcut for my desktop which opens my game in windowed mode do know that usually if you make a copy of that you might have to retick those options um and if for some reason you're having like resolution problems i'll try and find something that helps with that as well but i i'm i haven't had any problems with it cutting anything off like i my game has been fine uh up until that point now i'm going to cut away for a second and whenever i come back i will try and have an option for those people who do not have the game already installed okay so i'm gonna put this link in the in the description um and i'll uh put it probably in the top it, it probably won't let me put it in the top so i'll just definitely i'll put it in the description of this video but if you go to this website old games downloads um you'll go to the link in the description and you can download the sims complete collection for free and i know that some people are always like really leery about that and me myself i am as well but if you do not have the game and you do not have the money or just don't want to spend the money to just go buy a new like the whole complete collection online which you can buy it on amazon or ebay like they both have it for fairly cheap um then you can download it for free from this website. Um, and I've had people in my last video comment and say that this works for them. Now, I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, probably just right now, I might as well. Um, if you scroll down on this page, after you click on the thing to download it, that's the, the, the link right there, or like the download link. Then it tells you how to extract it. It tells you how to put everything in. And you need to follow these instructions. And if you follow those instructions, you should be able to do that. Now, this could have its own EXE, and you might not even need the download that I'm that I'm giving you in the description for the new EXE. EXE. But if it doesn't work after you install this, uh, you install this Sims, then still come back and get my EXE and replace the EXE in the Sims ma in the Maxis folder because that's what you're gonna need but you'll follow all of those instructions on that on the screen that you see right now um and whenever you go here to download the game you're going to come to this page so i would just follow those instructions to the t just to make sure that you did it right because then you can be like look i downloaded this i did it all right and for some reason it's still not working because then i can try and help and work with that um now for those people who don't want to buy it and they don't want to download it then I guess you just can't play I don't know how to get the game other than to buy it from a store which I did I have mine from Amazon or if you want to like download it for free then it's right here I'll put the link in the description you should be able to do that um, and you should be able to play there should be no issues now some people have said they've had issues with the sound not working i've not had any issues with the sound not working i have no idea why your sound isn't working you might have to google like what's going on i would just type in like sims 1 windows 10 my sound's not working or sound not working that's how i find any of my like helpful tips for people um and for people who need um to get the game to work properly five seconds let me see if i can't bring up the window again okay so this is my sims shortcut window um this is the one that's on my desktop and you see that at the end here i have a space and then a dash and w that means whenever i open it up it's going to be in windowed mode and i usually film with windowed mode because for some reason whenever i try to film or have an overlying uh operation with like videoing it with full screen it it, it acts weird 
but I can play it and it's fine. But if I open up Fraps or if I open up OBS, it starts being like real weird. So maybe I just need to get like a new recording software for that. But okay, so what you're gonna do is if you see these right here, but whenever you go into that place right here, boop, 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 right here, right beside the target, you're not, you don't put it down here, but you'll put it right here in the target, right past Sims EXE you're gonna wanna put one of these in here, like windowed mode or windowed with uh, the resolution, or, ooh, I could try that, I haven't tried that. You could do the, the windowed resolution mode or just the resolution at this mode, and it should show up uh, for you. If it's not showing up already, then you should be able to do that. But I would just follow that. Mine is at just windowed. So if you look right down here, this is what mine is. Mine's at windowed mode. I don't use it with, eh, sorry, I hit the mic. I don't use it at uh, another resolution just because I can see it very well. I'm fine with it the way it is. And if I play it in regular, um, like on like from the, the Maxis folder, I can play it with full resolution, no problem. But you're gonna wanna put one of those in like right next to that target name. And if it doesn't work, then make sure you're putting the space in there and then the dash is like you there's no space in between the dash and the w or the dash and the r and then you just put in that and you should be set you should be completely set with your resolution you should be able to play you should be able to enjoy yourself um there's nothing really that i can show you um now Let me see. All that's left would be to show you how the game is played. Let me stop the music. All right. And this is my windowed mode. This is the mode from the, um, the desktop. So you're good. Like you can play, you can go into the game, you can do whatever it is you need to do. There should be no issue. There should be nothing going on. If you're wondering why I'm back in this neighborhood, it's because I just did another video of taking people through this, the old neighborhood stuff just to make sure people knew what was going on. You'll see it eventually. Neighborhood. <laughs> but yes, this is how it should be. It should be fine. And like, yes, my, my screen is in windowed mode right now, but it's not a big deal. I mean, it's really not, everything should be fine, like completely. There you go, a little messy for you. Um, I did that in another video as well, so hopefully you guys will like that a lot. Um, but yes, so we are golden. Like, I don't know how, like, I really don't know what else to tell you guys. If you have any other questions or anything, like, random, like, sparks up that I haven't gone over, uh, just contact me. Leave a, leave a comment down below, and if I don't answer soon enough, because for some reason YouTube is not telling me that I have comments. I have comments turned on, like, so it will notify me every time someone leaves a comment, and yet somehow... Every time I turn around, there's like four people who've like commented like two weeks ago, six days ago, and I haven't answered them because I haven't even seen that they left anything. But like people before them and after them sure got a response because it told me that they said something. It's irritating. Get your stuff together. Like, I don't even know if it's because maybe it like got marked as spam or something or some, I have no idea. But if I don't comment down like if I don't comment um, down below in the comments and it's been a while or if you just want to get to me right away contact me on Instagram like just get on there and send me like a, a message and be like look uh, my Sims game is being kind of weird here's an issue um, I'll be more than happy to try and walk you through it I try and make sure that I get everybody's game actually working. So even if you don't think that I'm gonna put in the extra effort to like research what your problem is, I'll at least try. Like even, <clears throat> I even will try and Google it so that you 
can, you know, get it to work. Like, I'll go and Google, like, okay, what is her problem? Like, what is this guy's problem? What is this girl's problem? Like, there's something going on. I can't, like, fix this. And I'll do what I can, and I'll try and fix it within, like, a reasonable amount of time. Like, it won't be like, oh, let me get back to you in five days. I'll try and do it right then and there. Like, I have no life. That's, that's what the life of me is this. I have nothing. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions at all, just leave them down below or contact me on Instagram. Um, and I will, I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. I will at least try and get you gaming because during these times it is rough. I mean, it's like some people like me, I don't really care because... I stay home anyway. I have no life. I have nothing to do. And even whenever people are like, hey, Jasmine, you want to come hang out? And I'm like, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I have so much work to do. And then I come home and I watch YouTube videos or I pet my cat. He's somewhere. Or I will, you know, play Sims or something. And I don't care. Sorry. Maybe if you knew me, you just wouldn't ask me to hang out. <laughs> But, yes, um, I hope this cleared up some stuff for you guys. Like I said, I have no idea how to get the game to work unless you have the full set. There are people. Now, if you type in uh, Sims 1 on Windows 10, like either in Google or um, here on YouTube, there are some videos where people, like if you read their description, they claim like, oh, I only have... Uh, deluxe edition or I only have these couple of things and this is how I get it to work um no sorry like I can't get I have no idea if I could have done that for me I would have done that for me because I couldn't get all mine to go I had to buy a whole new game and it's not that it's not that pricey and if you don't want to buy it just download the whole game like you'll have more fun having the whole game on your computer versus having just one but like i said i know how like it is downloading stuff like it, it can be real nerve-wracking i get that a lot um also i got a question earlier um from someone who was talking about the sims 2 now, The Sims 2 is a different story. Now, if, like, and this is a bitter subject for me because I had The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection on my origin, like, in my library. They gave it to me because they deleted The Sims 2 Glamour Life stuff that I had bought as a digital package. They deleted it. They, they completely freaking erased it. It wasn't in my library anymore. And so I contacted them and I said, why did you get rid of my game? Like, I paid money, money for this. And now I'm trying to reinstall my games on a new computer and it's not there. And they were like, oh, here you go. You can have this. You can have this. And so, sorry, I'm getting angry. So I'm, I'm switching my position. Hopefully I don't like step on the cab. Okay. So then I know I've, are, the, y anybody who's already done with the Sims 1 stuff, you don't have to stick around for this. This is Sims 2 stuff, and it's going to be a slight ramble, but it's going to be Sims 2 stuff. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the video for Sims 1 ended, so you don't have to watch anymore. Um, anyways, so I went on there, like, recently, because my computer was like, oh, no, I'm going to die. And so I was like, no. And I was like, okay, well, instead of downloading all of those discs all over again, I'm just going to get the Ultimate Collection and put it on my computer. So I sign into Origin. It's not there. And instead, I have the Sims 2 Store Edition. I don't have that. I don't have that. So I contacted them and I said, hey, so... I had the Ultimate Collection in my Origin, and now it's gone. And they were like, we don't give that out anymore. And I said, I know you don't give it out anymore, but you already gave it to me. <sighs> like, sorry. <sighs> Ugh. Like dander or something. But you already gave it to me. It was mine. It wasn't like... Like, it, I don't understand. How can you just take stuff back from me and then say, we don't give that out anymore? Like, you already gave it to me. It wasn't like I didn't have it and I was asking for it. Well, I finally found someone nice, and I've talked about this before, who just told me that 
they probably just took it back because they weren't giving the game out anymore or something, and they didn't have any more of the codes or something. But it pisses me off, because, like, why give me something and then take it back, and I still don't have the game that I paid actual freaking money for, and you took it back, so me and Origin do not get along. Me and EA do not get along. The thievery. The thievery. Ugh. The audacity. The for real. Anyways, now I reinstalled my discs. And what you want to do for The Sims 2, to get The Sims 2 to completely work on Windows 10 is a pain in the neck because Windows 10 sucks. It sucks. It sucks my soul. Fuck. Windows 10. Ugh. And like, um, I will say that the when the the Sims One hack from before will also work on Windows 8 because Windows 8 and Windows 10 are like the same, but they're not the same. Like, you know what I mean. Anyways, ugh. anyways. Now, whenever you're installing, now you need to find mod the Sims. It's a website. It has lots of downloads and cool stuff. It's a great place. I'm plugging it because I, I, I like it and I'm also a member. Um, I mean, you can be a member anyway. You can all just go sign up. It's not like I'm anything special. I'm just a member. <laughs> I'm not like a creator or anything. Um, but you go to Mod The Sims or you just Google Mod The Sims Sims 2 Patches or just Sims 2 Patches. This is very important because I messed up three years in a row and my game was never correct. It pissed me off. And when you put in the Sims 1, you're gonna like like or the Sims 2, the first disc, you need to go find the patch for that. And do it for every time. Whenever you put in a new disc, let it go ahead and patch it, but then go find that online patch and do it. Even if it already even if like when you download it and you go do it and it says, Oh, you've already got this patch, then go to the next one. And if you have, like, what I have, I have, like, Best of the Business and Fun with Pets, which means it's, like, all three of them. Those apparently already come with the patch, so you don't need the patches for those. But the single expansions, you need every single patch that there is. So if you have all the single patches or all the single expansions, you're going to need to put all the patches on there. Every one of them. And you have to do it right after you install it. And, I must say, you should look up the order that they're in. Like, look up the order of the games. Like, from The Sims 1, then University, and then Nightlife, or whatever, how they were released. You need to install them that exact same way. If you install them messed up, or put, like, one expansion pack that came out later before the other one, you're messed up. You already screwed up. You're done. You're done -zo. So that means, like... I've had it before where I installed Fun with Pets, like, in the pet selection, and that's fine, but it's still weird for me to try and install it later in the series, but you can do it, but if you want to do it the correct way, you need to try and do it in the order that they were all released. Um, some people have gotten it to work with not, so don't take what I'm saying as, like, as law because some people have gotten it to work but for me to get it to work with no glitches and not crash and nothing I had to do it by the book and I had to look this up 500 times but once you get the patches installed and you get the Sims 2 installed you should be you should be good as long as you keep up with it and make sure you get all those patches and if they say you don't need it then you don't need it. You just need to try and run it and make sure you don't need it. But you're going to want to go through those and do that. And then, um, yeah, the most recent expansion pack would be the last one that you install because it's the disc that you're going to use to play the game. And for me, I also have that as run as administrator just because mine was messing up for a long time. And... If you guys want, I can make a video on how to get it to recognize your graphics card because I had a like a really bad glitch for a long time where my game on Windows 10, for some reason, it wasn't recognizing my graphics card. On Windows 7, I was fine, but on Windows 10, it doesn't recognize my graphics card, so I had to go in and physically put in my graphics card 
and then also go in and set my selections uh, for the game so that I don't get that but like that black box whenever they walk into the house and stuff. But if I'll make that separate video for that if you guys want it. If you don't want it, then I just won't do it. But you should be set with that too. So now I've told you about Sims 1 and Sims 2. I hope you guys have liked this. I wanted to make it a little bit more clear than my first video because the first video is definitely easy. It's like the quick, fast, get it done, go ahead and play video. But I didn't think of is the people who don't have the game installed or people who like only have certain games. I didn't see that it hadn't shown the screens that I was clicking on. So now that I've cleared it up, hopefully this helps you guys a lot more. I just wanted you guys to be able to play because it's it's a great game. It's like even if you didn't grow up with it, you can tell it's so good. And then like the people who did grow up with it, you get that nostalgia feeling. You get to like relive your childhood. It's just a really great game. And you can see how far we've come, like playing that game. And, you know, like it has a lot of options and there's still stuff that I don't know about The Sims 1. And you're discovering it and you're like, man, the game really has come so far. Like when Sims 2 came out, it blew my mind through the roof. I was like, you can you can go inside your Sims house. You can see like 3D models. Oh my God. I was lost. It was amazing. Anyways, guys, it is one o'clock in the morning and no idea <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning and I have other videos to film yeah I'm not going to bed I don't ever go to bed really early but I have other videos to film and I want to try and get this like edited and posted for you guys so hopefully it was helpful I really really hope it was helpful for you guys if you have any questions down below in the comments or contact me, Instagram, like, what, what you need. I don't know. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, I have no idea where to go from here. Anyways, guys, I love you. Anyways, guys, if you found this video helpful, or if you just liked it, or if you just like listening to me talk, or if you just feel sad for me, then just go ahead and like the video. <laughs> uh, just uh, subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated whenever I post new videos or whenever I go live. And that does happen sometimes. It's not, it's not often. I only just now got great. I only just now got good internet. So we see. I do want to do uh, a bunch of new stuff with that. So... Anyways, guys, if you like the video or if you found this video helpful or if you just feel sad for me, <laughs> go ahead and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more things that I've done and to stay updated whenever I go live or whenever I upload new videos. And I love you guys and I hope to catch you in the next video. In the next video. It's video. Speak words. Goodbye. Goodbye.